The Queen's Guard all appear to have the same uniform, with a shared role of standing stoically for a long time. But if you look closely at their hats, there are five different types. The Grenadier has a white plume, the Coldstream has a red one, the Irish a blue plume, the Welsh green and white, and the Scots Guard has none. Their different divisions perform similar ceremonial duties at Buckingham Palace. But they have other actual roles as well, suited to their specialization. When peeling your boiled eggs, you can see a hidden layer under the shell. These two membranes, an inner and outer one, are made from the same stuff as your hair, keratin. It protects the inside from bacteria and stops liquids from escaping. You use X in your text, which represents a kiss. It's been used this way for a very long time. Its original purpose dates back to the Middle Ages, where it was a representation of a person's faith, honesty, and sincerity. Those that would sign off with an X would kiss it after signing as a display of a sworn oath. The X's meaning later changed to represent the action of kissing. And the first document showing this was a letter dating back to 1763, written by a naturalist Gilbert White, who sent it to his wife. William Shakespeare is a name familiar to everyone. However, we don't know whether this was the actual way his name was spelled, and neither did he. He signed 80 different variations of his name spelling on all his works. Historians haven't a clue which the correct spelling is. The version that we know of was only used on two of his plays. Different forms of alarm clocks were invented as far back as 348 BCE, with many versions throughout the world, all with complicated mechanics. Unaffordable to mostly everyone, they didn't catch on. Alternate methods to wake up in the morning started to be used in the 1800s. One process involving knocker-uppers was common in some countries. A person visited your house every morning to knock on your door four times. Inventor Antoine Redier felt that he should be woken only when he felt it necessary. So, in 1847, he invented the first adjustable alarm clock. Tennis balls in Wimbledon must be kept at a perfect temperature to ensure they bounce at a consistent level. They're stored at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so they're cold enough that the molecules inside the ball shrink, ensuring they bounce lower. Then, they're continuously swapped throughout a match as they expand by being hit too much, becoming too bouncy. Wimbledon goes through 50,000 tennis balls each year. You enjoy the smell of a freshly mowed lawn, as you associate it with the weekends and summer. But that smell is a sign of stress made by the grass. Grass evolved to emit various elements when being eaten by bugs. This signal attracts predator insects to remove them. But unfortunately for the grass, there's nothing large enough to deter a lawnmower. There is no oxygen inside your packet of chips. If there was, it would influence the combination of molecules forming inside, spoiling the chips faster. The packets are instead filled with nitrogen, which pushes oxygen out. And this extends the shelf life and quality of your chips. You're traveling by plane overnight and just can't get to sleep. And the first night in a hotel wasn't great, regardless of how comfy the bed was. This is because of a human evolutionary trait called the first night effect. When you sleep in a different place than your home, the left side of the brain responds to more sounds while you're asleep. It continues to analyze your surroundings without you realizing, acting as though it's on a night watch and keeping you alert for any potential dangers. Most animals have this trait, although it's a lot more subtle in humans. But it's still effective enough to make sure you get your peanuts. Before playing basketball with hoops, you would have instead been playing with peach baskets. When the game was invented in 1891, a peach basket was used with the bottom of it cut off. But it only took 15 years for players to grow tired of constantly collecting the jammed balls and to remove the basket altogether. When you click your fingers, the snapping sound isn't from the physical click of finger and thumb. The noise actually comes from the finger hitting the palm. The instant film for the first Polaroid cameras didn't have their own coating after taking a photo. To develop it, you applied it yourself. 
Waiting for it to dry took a long time, so shaking it sped up the process. Then, from the 1970s, the film provided everything required for the photo to develop, making the popular craze of shaking Polaroids pointless. Shaking the photo can cause the ink to wave or blur before drying properly, so you shouldn't actually shake it like a Polaroid picture, and just wait patiently instead. Bug spray doesn't repel all bugs, especially the worst of them all, mosquitoes. It does cover the scent of carbon dioxide, which is what attracts mosquitoes. But the spray only protects you for a short distance. Mosquitoes can also track carbon dioxide over long distances. They will continue to stalk you until they find a gap in your invisible bug shield. A great alternative is lavender, which contains linalool. This fragrance completely overloads the mosquito's senses, making it unable to track you. The half belt on the back of some jackets appear like a fashion accessory. It was initially designed that way for larger jackets, as they could also be used as a blanket to wrap around oneself. The belt's position helps hold the material together, so it's easier to walk with whilst keeping you warm. Ketchup wasn't originally intended to be your favorite condiment. In 1834, a physician, John Cook, sold ketchup as a cure for indigestion. It was an immediate hit, and today, 10 billion ounces are purchased annually in the USA, although not as the intended medicine. Thomas Edison made over 1,000 inventions, and one in particular, the light bulb, is most famously linked to him. However, he didn't actually invent it. Warren Delarue, a British chemist, had solved this scientific challenge 40 years earlier. There were also 20 other inventors who made alternate versions before Edison did. But earlier varieties relied on cotton thread and only lasted up to 14 hours. Edison, in 1880, used a carbonized bamboo thread instead, and his worked up to 1,200 hours. It became the most commercially viable light bulb, and today's ones are similarly shaped to Edison's original. The first treadmill was used in England in 1818. It was a large wooden cylinder with a handrail, although it wasn't used to keep fit. Convicted criminals would be forced to use these for up to 10 hours per day as a punishment. The energy output potential was realized, and soon it was built to work with water pumps and grain grinders. It was so effective that it was used in all prisons throughout the country. But in 1902, it was decided that it was too harsh and stopped. And now, this cruel punishment is mainly found in gyms. During the 1940s, there was a shortage of cocoa, and it was important to find a solution to this problem. A production company found a way by mixing only a small amount of cocoa with hazelnuts and milk, and the original Nutella was created. It started out as a loaf spread, like a stick of butter. It then transformed into a creamier version inside a jar in 1951. But it wasn't until 1964 that it was given its famous name. Your passport might be a dark shade of either green, blue, or red. The darker color not only makes them appear more official, but is intended so that through its journeys, the dirt that's collected is more easily hidden. Wasabi was first used back in the 8th century. It wasn't meant as a spicy condiment as it's served with sushi today. Initially, it was used for its antimicrobial properties that help avoid the harmful reactions to fish with sushi that's a bit too old. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.